I wanted to talk about a, a problematic approach to motivation and, and I would even say inspiration that, that I see so often. And, you know, we, we love to sell the dream to people that you can be the best at this, you can be the best at that. And I think that's incredibly important. And that's actually a huge part of, of my journey in life is, is reflecting on what could be down the road. But there's a key, there's a key here is that that is down the road. And I see this in a lot of, of clients that I work with that are chasing these incredible things, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's academics, whether it's um, the pro sports. Yes, that, that long-term goal I think is incredible. I think it's important. I think dreaming is important. It's when that long-term goal is what gauges our sense of self in the present. Because if we think about it just rationally, I'm not the best today. I am not in the Olympics today. I am not a professional athlete today. I am not the CEO of the company today. And that's fine. I, it's a reality that I think we, we almost, it's, it's a safety net to live in a space where we believe we are already there or that we deserve it right now today. Because that's not the reality that we're actually living in. And it's okay to believe that one day we're going to get there. But when that's in the present, now all of a sudden, I'm not there today. I'm so far away from that. I'm not as close as I'd like to be. And so we switch now from an exciting opportunity to move in the direction of which we've like, we'd like to go. And in fact, you know, embracing the journey, embracing the opportunity, we now switch to scratching and clawing and forcing because we're trying to keep up with this with this goal that isn't isn't realistic in the present so we we show up to i'll use sport as an example we show up to sport thinking we're not enough because we're not in the nhl yet or we're not playing pro or we're not so we so now it's like well i i need to do more i need to do more i need to do more we're now forcing instead of allowing we're now trying to prove to ourselves that we're good enough instead of going out and discovering how capable we can be. So you see the clear shift. One group of people embrace the opportunity to discover and go on an adventure and grow and evolve and they're free and they're, it's exciting. And then we have another group of people that are enamored with the fact that they're not at that pinnacle yet and they don't feel like they're enough. And so they force more and they do more and they take on more and they're forcing and they're, they're, they're tunnel visioned and their, their voice in their mind is going and it's, I'm not enough and I need to do more. And where do I stand and where am I at? And in relation to that long off goal versus what's the reality right now? I have this beautiful long-term goal and one day I hope to get there and I'm going to come back every once in a while to reflect on it. But today, Here's what's most important. And to sum things up, I'm going to tell you a couple stories about clients I've been working with where I've asked them, when you feel the most dangerous, when you feel the most effective, the most prepared, the most free, what is it that you're paying attention to? Some of them, it's, it's when the puck's about to drop in hockey. For some, it's on the starting line before a track event. For some, it's going into their place of work. And I say, tell me, tell me what headspace you're in, what you're paying attention to when you feel the most dangerous. And they say, some, some are all along the lines of, I just look down the line of where I'm about to run and I, and I pretend as if it's only me there. And I can feel my, my opponents kind of looking at me but I keep looking, looking straight down as if I'm there all alone. And, and, they, and they describe embodying this experience where all I need to do here is be absolutely brilliant for the next 100 meters or the next five kilometers or the next hour in this game or the next half an hour in this presentation. I just need to be brilliant for that amount of time. And it unlocks and unleashes this incredible sense of self because they're no longer comparing themselves to a goal that could be a year, two years, three years, 10 years down the road. They're not living in a place that isn't actually real right now today. They're living in a real reality is here's the challenge in front of me. Here's the opportunity in front of me. Let's go discover how dangerous and how great and how effective I can be. That's a very different approach. As always, comments, feedback, insight, wisdom, reflections, stories of your own. Leave them below. I'll get back as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching.